When people talk about the universe, they usually mean the vast expanse of space, billions of light years across. However, there is another universe, an unseen world that governs everything we see. When we go down in size, trillions of times smaller to the microscopic world, the rules are much less intuitive than the ones we're used to from the large-scale world. The magic of the microscopic universe begins at about a 10 billionth of a meter, or the size of an atom. Matter behaves so differently at this level that scientists have developed an entirely new set of rules to describe what's going on. They call it quantum theory, and what it says is extraordinary. This baseball represents a subatomic particle, like an electron or a photon of light, that routinely does all sorts of weird, strange things in the microscopic universe. The subatomic version of this baseball can be invisible, can go through solid objects with ease, can be in multiple places at the same time, and can seemingly go backwards in time and change the past. This means I could throw this microscopic baseball to first base and to home plate at the same time, or change the seemingly predetermined outcome of a play while it's still going on. Now, this, this is the stuff of science fiction, but really, we know it to be true, or at least it appears to be true in our quantum world. We get all sorts of weird things happening. If scientists can understand how these weird things work, they'll be able to put them to use in our everyday world, revolutionizing modern computing and perhaps even allowing us to communicate across the cosmos instantly. The key to making these miracles come true is a process called quantum entanglement, and scientists are already harnessing this astounding discovery for both civilian and military purposes. In quantum physics, what happens to an object over here can instantly affect an object over here, and over here could be millions of miles away. This is how it works. When two subatomic particles interact, they can become entangled. That means their spin, position, or other properties become linked through a process unknown to modern science. If you then make a measurement of one of the particles, then that instantaneously determines what the behavior of the other particle should be. And when the experiment is done, it's found that indeed the other particle's quantum state is exactly determined once you've made a measurement of the partner particle's quantum state. That means if a scientist observes one entangled particle and forces it to spin clockwise, the other entangled particle will immediately start spinning in the opposite direction. That seems intriguing, but it's hardly earth-shattering until you consider that the two entangled particles can be separated by billions of light years. And still, the moment you observe one particle spin, you've dictated the other particle spin. That's weird, because it may suggest that information has traveled instantaneously, faster than the speed of light, from one particle to another. I don't understand it. I don't know that anyone does. Spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it. What's surprising is that when you make a measurement of one particle, you affect the state of the other particle, you change its state. There's no forces or pulleys or, you know, telephone wires, there's nothing connecting those things, right? How could my choice to act here have anything to do with what happens over there? So there's no way they can communicate with each other. So it is completely bizarre.
quantum physics there is a term entanglement means when one energy source entangles with another they interfere with each other this interference can be highly positive and transformative and harmonious entanglement directly affects human beings when you come in my breathing space this is what happens your mind gets entangled with my no mind if your mind entangles with my no mind it is entanglement that level next if your muscle memory gets entangled with my muscle memory that's called entrainment if your bio memory gets entangled with my bio memory it's called enlightenment entanglement can move to entrainment then entrainment can become enlightenment entanglement means two person falling in tune with same thought entrainment means two person falling in tune with the same idea enlightenment means two person uniting beyond ideas understand when you are in entanglement with me i give my inner space to you which is lighter than the outer space all i do is for few minute a few seconds i make your inner space lighter than the outer space by removing the mass dirt those few seconds you are in entanglement with my inner space purest consciousness once you are exposed to that by and by your bio memory muscle memory inner space everything starts enjoying that space and starts living in that space it becomes living enlightenment this is the way the entanglement becomes entrainment entrainment becomes enlightenment entanglement is initiation entanglement is the most powerful way entangling yourself with an enlightened being is the most easiest and powerful way to raise yourself to the higher level and get enlightened if somebody is swimming in the ocean you stand and watch what whatever brain activity is happening in that person's brain even if you are watching the same activities are mirrored in your brain meaning the same kind of electric and neurotic impulses are activated in your brain now you know why just by gazing into my eyes you are in the space of completion i am swimming in the ocean of consciousness in the space of completion so naturally you are absorbed in total absorption actually total absorption totally being absorbed happens during energization whether you are there or not it's my job i just pull you to that space during the session so you cannot escape it's replicating the highest neural activities inside me experiencing and living life with the cognition energy and the inner space of an incarnation we just sit and observe that's all The Shakti Nipata is the word 
for quantum entanglement. If I have to roughly translate, Sadashiva uses the word Shakti Nipata. He goes even one step further, even taking bath in the same water in which master took bath or the deity has been given bath and sprinkling that same water on your head. So, to the extreme level, Sadashiva describes this quantum entanglement not only in the physical level, even thought currents, if I express certain thought current and you are wow, you feel wow about it, then the entanglement has started. What is being told to you? What far I stand? What is the concept I share? And what I inspire in you only will get ex strengthened and become experience when I am entangling with you. The Shakti Nipata with me means the concepts for which I am standing will be reality for you. I am very clear you are Sadashiva whether you understand or not and more and more of that truth I will manifest in your body, mind, muscle memory, bio memory, everywhere. That manifestation is powers and more and more you manifest, play with the powers, more and more you will be grounded into the reality you are Sadashiva ultimate. I am entangling you for this experience. It is a pure spiritual process. The basis of the Shakti Nipada itself is oneness. Sada Shivatva, Shivoham. That is the basic understanding from where the Shakti Nipada, the entanglement starts. So, in few days, more and more they start getting entangled with this truth. The more and more powers manifest. When they manifest the powers, they get more and more entangled with the original truth. Actually, powers are side effects of the entanglement with the original truth. When we express, manifest, we inspire the people who are seeing to come back to this original Shivoham space which they are also carrying. When you see somebody swimming, your bio memory gets the confidence you can also swim. That neuron, mirroring neuron effect mirroring. starts happening. When you see power manifestation going on, even you get entangled with the Sadashiva space of the person who is manifesting the power. It's not bound by time and space. You are teleported to that space you are transported to that mystery. You are transported to that level, to that initiation, to that experience. The entanglement happens more between the person's core consciousness and me. The moment he decides he is seeing me, that is enough. Even if he does not see me, his decision is powerful enough for me to entangle with that person. So, Shakti Nipat is not limited to the physics of time space. Even the two-way video conferencing screen is just to trigger the first few minutes. They need to be triggered. That software need to open up, open up. Just for that only the two-way video conferencing screen. After that few minutes, you may not even need that screen. The entanglement has started happening. So, how I heal through healers? Each one of my healer is continuously in entanglement with me. He may be wherever he is. That is what I prove when I materialize. 
receive when a devotee can receive vibhuti or kumkum and materialize same thing the deity also receives vibhuti kumkum and materializes how when somebody is kundalini is awakened when somebody is initiated as a healer is in entanglement with me same way the deity is also in entanglement with me once the prana pratishta is done the deity is continuously in entanglement with that super consciousness i can give you a simple technique to have entanglement with me just morning sit in the satsang that's all every day morning satsang itself is entanglement with me if you are in the entanglement level just physical healing happens if you are in entrainment level means muscle memory doing what i am saying the transformation happens if you are in the enlightenment level just melting the very mystical doors of life opens and the enlightenment conscious explosion happens and my every satsang is programmed i can say entanglement enabled the constant entanglement happens that is why many times the ideas which you never heard directly from my mouth or from the discourse you will be telling to others you would have heard only five ideas but when you expand it to others explain it to others when others question you you will have 25 ideas coming out of you you may be thinking where did i get this entanglement this levitation kundalini awakening everything happens just through this great truth of entanglement nothing else blessings to all of you this quantum entanglement will make quantum enlightenment manifest in all of you 